What's up, everybody? It's your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns coming at y'all again today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a first. Today, I'm going to be doing some boneless, skinless turkey breast, okay? A five pound turkey breast. I've never done anything with turkey on my channel. That occurred to me about a couple of weeks ago. So today, I'm going to take a stab at doing a, a turkey breast today. So let's get in the lab and get to cooking. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start prepping this uh, turkey breast right here. Uh, as you can see, it's not a whole lot to do to it as far as trimming, okay? It's just a really lean cut of meat, all right? But what we are going to do is uh, inject it for some flavor. And today I'm going to be using this uh, Butcher's Barbecue Bird Booster, all right? It's proven to be good stuff, award-winning stuff, so I'm going to use it. And I'm also going to be using this... Um, Oklahoma Joe's uh, meat injector. I'll leave a link to both of these things that you can go get and at Amazon and any purchase that you do through these links helps the channel out. So just keep that in mind and help your boy out, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, inject this turkey breast. And this thing is real simple to use. Uh, the mixture is one fourth cup of the um, bird booster to two cups of water and this is good for 10 pounds of meat okay so um i want to go ahead and, and get this all primed up get some juice in here oh i squirted it out you see that all right here we go so i'm gonna start here and i'm just kind of do every every inch inch and a half or so until we get to the end of the meat all right All right, y'all, so I don't know what was going on with that Oklahoma Joe's injector, but it failed on me, okay? I only got to about right here injecting where it stopped sucking up juice. So I'm not going to leave a link down below to get that because as of right now, it failed, all right? It was miserable. So I'm just going to go straight old school on it, okay? All right, but I am going to go like every inch or so with injecting it. All right, I'm gonna get it up in there. And so I'll go ahead and inject this whole turkey and then we'll come back and, and rub it down. And then we'll go get our fire started and we'll put this thing out on the pit. Okay, now we got it all injected down. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just liberally sprinkle it with some of my all-purpose rub. Just salt, pepper, garlic, okay? Kind of a SPG kind of rub, okay? JB's all-purpose beef rub, but it's, you know, good for everything because it just got the basic salt, pepper, and, and garlic in it. And we're kind of doing this uh, Texas style today, so that's why I'm just using salt, pepper, garlic. Go ahead and get the underside. Pat that in. And you can use a binder if you want to. Since we injected it, that injection is kind of all over the meat, so we really don't have to use any kind of binder today. So we'll just go ahead and get that on there liberally. And then we'll go outside and get our fire started, but we'll go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator so it can stay cool because you don't want to play with poultry, okay? You don't want to let it come up to any kind of room temperature or nothing like that. So you want to keep it cool. Don't play around with poultry, okay? All right, that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and let this rest up in the fridge while we go get our fire started. All right, y'all, we got our fire going. We're going to run our pit today in between 275 and 300, somewhere along in there, okay? So we got our meat already prepped up. We just took it out of the fridge. The um, seasoning and stuff is starting to adhere to the meat. And we have a special guest today. Jameer wants to put the meat onto the grill. That's the brave boy Jameer right there, y'all. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, lift it up and have him to put the meat on there. 
All right, now remember, put it right there in the middle, all right? There you go, good job. Scoot it up, son, scoot it up, son. Now pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And then scoot it up towards the front, son. I hear it. No, forward, forward towards the fire. Yeah, there you go, right there. That's good, right there. Good, good job, good job. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in about an hour to uh, baste it with a little butter solution and see how the bark is forming. So we'll see y'all in about an hour. Good job, Jameer. All right, y'all, so it's been about an hour and 10 minutes. And what I did was uh, I melted some real butter down and uh, I, I put some Italian seasoning in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of drizzle this stuff uh, over this meat right here. Let me put it inside there so I can get it. And you can see the bark forming on there. So I'm just go ahead and, and give it a little bit. I, I'm not gonna rub it on there. I'm just kind of drizzle it on there, okay? Just to kind of keep it moist. Just like that. I'm a, I'm a one man uh, camera show right now, so y'all excuse me. I'm doing the best I can. I hope I'm doing a good job. Get that all on there like that, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish uh, basting this turkey breast, and I'll probably see y'all in about another hour but let me go ahead and get a temperature on it right now see it is rolling at about yeah see it's about 180 i mean about 80 something degree about 82 degrees so we still got a ways to go all right, so we got that all basted down with our butter solution. And we're going to come back in about, I'll say about 45 minutes and check to see how it looks. See y'all then. All right, y'all, our timer is going off. I'm going to take it off here at 162 degrees, and it'll carry over to 165. Uh, anything, you know, more extreme than that, like 170, you're taking the risk of drying it out. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off now. Wow, it looks great, man. Look at that bark. Look at the juices running out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. I'm going to put it on, on the cutting board on the inside. And I'm going to let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll cut into it. Oh, yeah, it's been about 10 minutes. And this turkey breast is rested up. I can tell y'all, it smells fantastic, man. But what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut into it and see how it tastes. So let's get to it. Oh, look at that juice, y'all. That's nice. Look at all that juice, y'all. That's nice. That is nice. Okay, so now that we got it all cut up, let's go ahead and taste the piece. I'm going to get this middle piece right here. Now, look at that juice in there. That's nice. That's really nice. Look at all that juice in there. I'm just go ahead and cut in half. Quarter it up, whatever. Let's take a little taste. Nice and tender. Yes. Mmm. That is nice, y'all. We'll get that nice Central Texas bark on there with that salt, pepper, garlic. Then you get the a little bit of the injection that we put in there at uh, Butcher's Barbecue. You get all of those flavors throughout this turkey. This is a really good piece of meat. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Turkey breast right here. Came out really well, but... If this is your first time to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any videos like this in the near future. And I want to give a shout out to my uh, grand champion member, Kimmy Cat C. Thank you for your loyalty. And as we always say, 
This your boy JB with JB's Barbecue and Guns. Saying y'all be easy. Peace. Be safe.